I was pretending to be baby spinach. <laughs> <laughs> You want to lose weight, you want to do it fast, you want to do it easy. Well, meal prep is one of the best ways to do it. Kyle and I, that's the sassy behind the camera, have lost 130 pounds each. We've kept it off for over five years and meal prep has been one of the reasons why we've done it. So today, we're gonna take you through the easiest, the cheapest, and the fastest meal prep ever. If you're like us and you only have an hour to spare each week, but you like doing meal prep or you want to because it helps you stay on track, then this is for you because we do it fast and we're gonna use things you never even dreamed of. <laughs> <laughs> that last part was a little bit of an exaggeration. Well, I bet you, you never thought of using a microwave. That's true, before I met you, I'd never seen this before. First, we're gonna start with the best. We're going to use this big old sack of potatoes to make potatoes this week for our meal prep. And guess what? We're not into the fancy stuff because it takes too long. I always say, hey, I want potatoes, but it takes forever. If you want them to cook faster, you have to slice them or dice them in order to do that. We're gonna use the microwave for these babies and they're gonna be done really fast. Wow, let's go. Oh, we're gonna use the microwave because we got some time to save. <laughs> All right, the friends, for this meal prep, we're gonna do a plate worth. This is a microwave safe plate. You can make as many as you want, but we're gonna do it a plate full at a time because this fits in the microwave and it allows us to keep it fresh. This will make a couple days worth, and then when we're out, we'll throw another round in. Yes. Wow, magic. All right, I am drying off the potatoes, put them on the plate, and now I'm going to take a fork and pierce holes in them. That'll prevent, like, that'll give them like a steam valve, and it'll prevent them from going in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, this is a very important step. Yes, you must put holes in your potatoes. We're gonna put holes on all of the sides. This is where you get to insert sound effects here. Very scientific method. It really is. Hey, if you got any anger, you get it out on these, boy. Make sure you get all the holes everywhere, guys, okay? Okay, so make sure that holes are on both sides of the potato. We're gonna put them in the microwave for seven minutes and check them out and then flip them. All right, we got microwave potatoes, we got baby Brussels sprouts, we got rice, we got a bonus of chicken burgers, we got seasoned chicken breasts from a bag, frozen, and we got baby spinach. What do you think? Are we baby spinach? <laughs> All right, the friends, seven minutes is done. You're gonna need pot holders or a towel or something because the plate will be very hot as a caution. Very hot, use hot things. All right, so this is what they look like halfway. I'm gonna take the fork and I'm going to flip them over. So they cook on the bottom first and that's why you flip them over so that they can cook all the way through. So now I'm gonna put them in for another, I'm gonna say eight minutes and see how we go. Yes. Oh, that's not eight. <laughs> While we're waiting for the potatoes to finish microwaving, these are the chicken burgers that we're gonna use this week. So what we do, you can barbecue these or do them on a pan or on your oven or in your oven all at once if you like, but we found it takes 10 minutes. So we take two burgers every lunch, we put them on a pan that's been heated on medium high, 
We put the burgers in, cook it five minutes, we cover it with a lid to steam them up, and then flip it and cook the other side for five minutes so that they're golden on both sides and cooked all the way through. So these burgers are from Walmart and the chicken we're gonna show you that we got is also from Walmart. Right now in Canada, the sales on meat are not that great, but the frozen Walmart chicken and the burgers, they're really good prices for us. So we've been buying those. And here's the other bonus, which is the baby spinach. We love buying this because it's already, everything is done for you. You don't have to clean it, chop it, wash it, dry it, nothing. It's already done. We literally just pull out two cups when we're ready to eat it. And we either eat it raw like this with light dressing, or we throw it in a pan with the rest of our food and heat, <laughs> and heat it up to wilt it and make it taste different. This is the frozen chicken that we got from Walmart. It's boneless, skinless, and it's lean. And this is how much it makes. We put it on two casserole dishes sprayed with cooking spray, and we sprinkled this Mrs. Dash on it. It is salt-free, extra spicy seasoning. And that's it, nothing else. And we cooked it at 425 for, how long would you say, Sassy? Half an hour, flip the pans, like flip the top and bottom, and then another half an hour. So an hour total at 425. Yep. What the instructions say on the back, we didn't really find that that works. It's still a bit slimy, so. So do it, so we did it for four, four, blah, 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 blah. we did it for 425 for an hour, flipping the trays halfway. And then we did our rice in a rice cooker. So I put two cups of dry rice, this is just white rice, and then I put five cups of water, pour it in, set it, forget it. It takes about 20 minutes to cook, and then you have perfectly cooked rice. I split it into two so that we can freeze it because we don't go through a whole lot. And then we've got some baby Brussels sprouts. We roasted these at 450 for 15 minutes, and then we switched the trays, and then did it for another 15. When they're done cooking, we broil each tray for six minutes on high. And how we seasoned them was garlic powder and black pepper is in this jar, just ground black pepper. Oh, and I'll show you, we just used the plain, just normal cooking spray from Walmart. And the rice that we use, Currently, we get whatever's on sale. This is just plain white rice. We got it at Walmart, just a big bag, eight kilograms. It lasts us forever. It is such a good deal. And the potatoes, if you didn't see, we're using a plain bag of russet potatoes. So yeah, these scale, get yourself a food measuring scale. It doesn't have to be fancy, but it's been very vital on our weight loss journey. All right, so we've got three ounces of chicken there. And there you got it. So what we would do, there are two ways that we store and heat up our food. We either measure it all out into our containers and freeze them like this or keep them in the fridge like this, or we keep them in the big containers and then scoop from them during the week. So if we're going to like going somewhere to work or wherever, or on an outing, when there were outings, <laughs> um, we would take containers like this. We ate containers like this in the parking lot of an oil change place last week. Yes, we did. So we took containers like this last week. Um, otherwise, what we do is we leave enough fridge in, enough fridge. We leave enough food in the fridge for about three days and we freeze the rest. When we're getting low on food in the containers or in our measured out containers like this, we pull out more and thaw them out in the fridge overnight. How we reheat is either microwave or we throw it on a preheated medium high heat pan and just heat it up like that. All right, we're gonna check these out and see if they are done or close to it. Oh, they're looking pretty good, yes. And yes. So when the fork goes in nice and easy, they're done. Yep, let me just check this baby. Oh yeah, he's good. Okay friends, so like what Kyle said, when the fork goes all the way through, you're good. 
So these potatoes took. <laughs> So these potatoes took about 15 minutes to cook and just like we did seven minutes the first time and then flipped them all over and then cooked them for eight. Now they're done and they're gonna go in our containers. So this week we decided that we we're gonna have a little bit of each carbs. So we're gonna have some potatoes sometimes and then we're gonna have rice on the other days. So I'm just gonna measure a whole bunch of, I mean, I'm just gonna scoop a whole bunch of potatoes in here and then we'll keep one container in the fridge and put the other one in the freezer. And yes, we freeze and reheat everything. Everything? Everything. All right, this is the spread. And sometimes you guys will ask, is this just one meal? Is this all you eat? No. The chicken and the burgers are two separate meals. What you're seeing here is our lunch and our dinner. You're not seeing our snacks and our breakfast. You'll have to tune in for full days of eating to see the rest. But this is all the stuff that takes longer to prepare, which is why we do it in this time. And here we are. Oh man. Five second rule. Oh, that's, that, that's gross. <laughs> I missed it. It's a it. good thing you can't catch her. That would have been pretty gross. Mm. Hank will eat that one, maybe. <laughs> okay, the friends. Mmm. Really good. Alright, the friends. That is it. You want it? Quick, easy, and budget friendly. This is it. This helps us lose weight and keep it off. This is the meal prep of your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> We hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. We're gonna shake it out because my skirt's too short to do the frog. Uh. <laughs> oh, do the stuff, like the bells, get on Instagram at the Colettes, shake your leg like that, and let's do... I didn't get the leg shake. Shake your leg like okay, that. Got it. Check out our two weight loss guides down below. And now we're gonna shake it out. Thanks for watching. Peace. Call us out, dudes. She gone. I'm looking for that Brussels sprout. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Remember, the friends, that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.